name's Jason Rowe, and in this short video I'm going to teach you how to move your Elance Contractors account over to the new Upwork site. Don't forget, if you like this video, please share and make comments below. Over the next few months, the Elance website will be phased out. From August 2015, no new customers will be able to register. From September 2015, the ability to post jobs will be phased out. By mid-2016, only messages, contacts and files will be accessible on Elance. To maintain your Elance account, you will need to transfer it to Upwork. If you already have an account at Upwork, you can merge the two together. If not, you will need to create a new account there through the transfer system. In this video, I will demonstrate the steps to transfer an Elance account to an existing Upwork account, but the steps to create a new account will be similar. When you transfer your account, you will find that the Upwork account will create two profiles for you, an employer profile and an employee or freelance profile. Let's take a look at some of the advantages and disadvantages of transferring to Upwork. By combining Elance and the former ODES, there is now a much larger potential employee base. As well as the many freelancers that work on Elance and will transfer, there are a host of new freelancers on Upwork, many of whom may have the skills that you require for your projects. The new Upwork site is more modern and easier to navigate than both ODESK and Elance. This should make looking for suitable freelancers much easier. If you already had a good reputation and hire history on Elance, you can bring that expertise to Upwork, either in a new account or by merging the existing one. There are of course some disadvantages. Odesk has a reputation for freelancers with lower skills than Elance, as well as syndicates who tend to spam job postings. You will need to learn the new interface and posting practices. For example, on Upwork you can specify the level of skill required for your posting. This in turn will recommend to you an hourly rate. So with all this information in mind, let's take a look at the transfer procedure. As I already have an account at Upwork both for hiring and doing work, with a good reputation and comprehensive profile, for me it is better to merge my accounts rather than start a new one. If you don't already have an Upwork account, the transfer procedure will move your profile, Elance client information, your location, hiring history, current active jobs and total Elance spend over to your Upwork account. If you are transferring to an existing Upwork profile, the original Upwork profile will be used and your Elance hiring history will be added to the Upwork history. Freelancers will not be able to differentiate between Elance and Upwork histories. Whether you are creating a new account or merging existing ones, there are some elements of your Elance profile that cannot be transferred. These include payment methods, reports, skill tests and ongoing projects. All of these will remain accessible on Elance until mid-2016. If you have a good hiring history on Upwork, it is best to merge your accounts. If you are new to Upwork or do not have an Upwork account, it is best to transfer your Elance profile to a new Upwork account. If you are enjoying this video, please give us a like and write a comment below. So let's take a look at how to carry out the actual transfer from Elance to Upwork. Before you can do this, you will need to have received an invite to copy your account over. This would have been in the form of an email from the Upwork CEO. In the email, he details some of the points we discussed earlier in this video, most importantly the schedule for the closing of Elance. Read the email carefully before you begin the transfer, then click on the link within the email to begin that transfer. As you can see, in my case I am already logged into my Upwork account. The web page that opens asks me to sign out. To begin the transfer, I can either return to the email and click the link again, 
or go to my Elance account where under My Elance on the right of the screen I can see an option to duplicate my account on Upwork. If you cannot find the relevant email, check My Elance for this option. If you did not get the invitation yet, it will be sent out to all accounts by mid-September. There is no need at this point to contact support. Now click on the plus sign and add to watch later. This will enable you to come back to this video when you do receive the email. Clicking the link will take you to the first stage of the merge. Clicking learn more will take you to the dedicated merge help pages. Click on get started. As you can see you will return from Upwork to Elance. The Elance page will ask you for permission to access your profile and job history. Click allow. As you can see, in my case the transfer process has recognised that I have a profile already on Upwork. If you would prefer to start a new Upwork profile, you will need to log out and create that new profile before transferring your Elance account. In my case I am happy to merge Elance to my current Upwork account. Doing this will retain my work history from both accounts but maintain my Upwork profile and username. As an employer and worker both my working history and the jobs I have posted and awarded will be transferred. You will now need to log into your Upwork account. Once logged in you will again be asked to confirm the merge. Note the merge is not reversible so make sure you are happy to do this before proceeding. Click cancel if you are unsure. Once complete you will see this new Upwork screen. At the top you will see options to search for jobs or post jobs. The actual migration will take place over several hours and until then you may see both profiles on your Upwork page. So with the transfer and merge complete let's have a look at the new Upwork. At this point I would like you to open Upwork in a new tab on your browser. Feel free to pause this video at any stage and follow along on the new Upwork website. At the top right of the screen we can see our name and a drop down box. Clicking on the drop down reveals our two profiles. The upper profile is the employer profile. The lower one is the employee or freelance profile. Click on the upper profile and let's create a new job posting. Before we post any jobs let's take a look at our settings. These can be accessed by clicking on your name then settings. Clicking edit beside any of the sections allows me to change many aspects of the account from my personal info billing methods, security and teams. I can also add members of my own staff to Upwork and give them various permissions and access. As you can see the overall layout of Upwork website is much cleaner and easier to navigate when compared to the old Elance site. So that's a brief look at the interface, let's have a look at posting a job. Click jobs from the top menu bar and a new window will open. Simply click on post your job. I'm going to post a job for a video editor so from the categories I will choose design and creative from the left and video production from the right. Now I need to give my job a descriptive title. Then I need to add a comprehensive description of the job. Make sure that you detail all aspects required from the job as this will prevent confusion at the end of the project. You can then list the required skills. In this example I need my editor to be skilled in Final Cut Pro. Next are the payment options. You can choose from hourly or fixed price. Like Elance any hourly work will be recorded via a tracking app on the freelancer's computer. You can now specify the duration of the project and approximate hours per week. Under experience level pick a suitable level for your job. I require an intermediate level editor and the hourly rate will reflect that. 
To maximise the number of people that see your job advert, you can choose to let it be seen on Google. You can also hire more than one employee for each job. At the bottom you can suggest preferred qualifications and add some screening questions to target specific skills. Once you are happy, click on Post Job. Once people start applying for your post, you will receive email notifications. You can then invite candidates to an online interview where you can ask further questions. The move from Elance to Upwork does not have to be daunting, but it has to be done. There are some disadvantages and advantages, but as you can see, the Upwork website is well thought out and easy to navigate. Once you have transferred your Elance account and with the help of this video, you will find it is an easier place to work in. Thanks for watching. It is important to me to receive your likes and comments below. Also, have you heard of Fiverr? This is a website where you can hire freelancers for just $5. If you have not, click on the information icon on the top right of the screen and check out Fiverr, a great place to hire cheap workers.